Okay, hello everybody. I wanted to make a video about my Ice Spear Totem build. Uh, the video I made about this guy got like quite a lot of views, and a lot of people asked about how I would level him. And being a little more in depth about the leveling process, so I figured before the league start, we're just gonna go ahead and run through that with you guys here as quick as I can. I'm gonna try and make this not be like you know a 30 minute video or whatever but uh, yeah so first thing we're gonna go through are the gems you're going to need we're not really gonna go over any gear until we get to maps because you know it's a league start scenario you're pretty much just gonna be picking up whatever you can off of the floor so I will go over some options as to like what you can do to try and get some good damage early on as well but uh, in terms of gear but so basically you're gonna kill Hillock. you're gonna come in here you're gonna go over to your boy Tarkley uh, this is the only real gear advice I'll give you you'll go to search press NN uh, this will search for any movement speed boots and you're gonna buy that a hundred percent of the time if you don't find any that's fine it's not a big deal come over to Nessa sell all the stuff you picked up off Hillock, and you're good to go uh, I'm not actually sure if you'll be able to buy Stormblast Mine, um, but if you can, buy Stormblast Mine and Elemental Prolif. Keep progressing out uh, the campaign like you normally do. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you can buy Orb of Storms. That's going to be our second purchase. So you're going to buy Stormblast Mine. Orb of Storms, and then you're also going to buy Elemental Prolif. So if you are fortunate enough to find a three link wand you're gonna put ellie prolif orb of storms and stormblast mine in the same thing and then also you're going to pick up a uh arcane surge so if you are able to get two uh blue blue two links you're going to put your storm your orb of storms here and you're gonna put your uh elemental prolif on the Orb of Storms, and then you're gonna put Arcane Surge on your uh, Stormblast Mine. So, you're just gonna keep on progressing, keep on progressing, Jesus guy, chill. Uh, and then, eventually you're gonna get to the point where you can buy added lightning damage. Once you can, you're gonna buy two of these. Two of these, right? Uh, hopefully, you're picking up pretty much everything that drops on the ground, you're selling it for, you know, wisdom scrolls and wisdom scroll fragments uh, and then you're going to go like this this is going to be your ideal setup two three links after that i would actually probably put arcane surge in the stormblast mine just because it's going to give you 20 percent more spell damage with stormblast mine and this is kind of how we're going to be doing a lot of our single target early on uh once you're pretty much through act one I would definitely pick up a clarity and start running clarity and leveling up clarity and uh, you could also go vitality if you want this early I don't usually do it just because you know a life flask is probably more than enough healing at this point point. Um, and yeah basically you're just gonna want two blue blue blues with orb of storms and storm blast mine if you've ever leveled with this before you know it's probably uh, one of the better leveling strategies. So, next, buy gems here to level up. So, hopefully you're picking up wands off of the ground, and you'll have a wand, you know, just any random wand. Uh, you're going to be buying Ice Spear. You're going to be buying Freezing Pulse. So, yeah, just make sure you pick up an Ice Spear and a Freezing Pulse. We're going to be leveling that in our offhand, because we're going to need it for the totem build once we get to uh later on in our progression next we're going to be going to act two so uh make sure you also pick up a movement skill uh in act one i forgot about that make sure you get a frost blink or flame dash either one works i usually use flame dash now in act two there are some very important gems we're picking up here uh we are going to pick up a faster casting we're going to pick up a concentrated effect. 
we are going to pick up a controlled destruction and we are going to pick up an elemental focus these are all very very important gems and also we're going to pick up a herald of thunder and we're going to run that as a damage aura so at this point i usually am running uh relatively low level vitality like maybe level five vitality we're going to be running a clarity and we're also going to be running a herald of thunder so these two guys and a vitality now we've picked these up here and we're going to be leveling all of these gems all right all of them and uh i also like picking up stormbrand if i do end up getting a four link like if i get a four link earlier than a uh, Act 2, which, you know, are in Jesus, glory be to thee, uh, you're, you could go get Stormbrand, sure, but yeah, so now we have a Stormbrand from Act 1, we have our Herald of Thunder and our Clarity uh, as our aura setup, and we have Orb of Storms, Ellie, Ellie Prolif, and Added Lightning in a 3-link. Now, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to want 3 three blue links now if you end up getting a four link blue we're gonna put our storm brand in our four link blue <laughs> uh no joke that just took me like three fusings anyways so uh, uh, we'll just say this is a four link and let's just say we have a chest piece not a soul mantle but we'll just say we have a chest piece with a four link we're gonna put in storm brand boom easy we're gonna put in concentrated effect boom easy we're gonna do added lightning damage and at this point we can either choose the uh ellie focus or the faster casting realistically any of these are good i usually go for the uh, uh faster casting just so we have like better tick rate on our brands and then after that uh, what i'll do is i'll go ahead and put control destruction and Ellie Focus into our Stormblast mine, right? And then I will take out Ellie Prolif, put Arcane Surge into our added lightning damage and Orb of Storms link. So this is kind of what it's going to look like uh, when you're leveling. You're just going to have one four link, blue, 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 blue. You're going to have one three link and one three link. Granted, you won't get this all the time. If you can only have three three links, go ahead and take out the uh, faster casting or the added lightning damage, but you're gonna want conk effect. It's really, really powerful, especially for Stormbrand. Uh, and then you're also gonna wanna, you know, if you've only got a two link, you could just take out um, the arcane surge from the orb of storms because you're gonna really want that flat damage early on on our Orb of Storms, because this is really going to supplement a lot of our damage, especially in boss battles. I can go ahead and kind of show you what it looks like when we play. So, uh, basically, we have our four link. We're going to put our Storm Brand, our Conk Effect, our Faster Casting, and our Added Lightning Damage into our four link. So, for a boss, we're going to slap down our Orb of Storms onto the boss and then we're going to go ahead and throw down a storm brand and then we're gonna throw as many mines on the boss as we can you know moving around the boss as we throw our mines on them basically just kiting the boss trying to stay within our uh of storms and then throwing our storm brands out intermittently as they will fall off eventually but we're gonna have our storm brand ultimately always ticking on the boss hopefully we're going to be supplementing our damage with the orb of storms and then throwing mines on the boss as we kite all right so next up once you get to act six you're gonna be able to do a quest for lily and she will give you every gem in the game as a reward or the ability to buy any of them uh, so these this is every gem in the game and you can you, you know you're probably thinking you could switch over here but you're actually going to need two items to do that so what we're actually going to do is just buy the gems we need to level up so what we're going to be buying is a 
multi totem and a hypothermia as well as an added cold damage so we have our ice spear and our freezing pulse from act one that we've been leveling up and now we have multi totem hypothermia and added cold from act six and you can also get a greater multiple projectile support from act four so these are the six gems you're going to be leveling up in your offhand as you're going through the axe and all of that stuff also if you have a free blue socket somewhere go ahead and start leveling in arcane cloak as that is going to be very useful for you to have leveled once you're in maps it's not the end of the world if it's not leveled up but i always like leveling as many gems as i can uh, just to make the progression that much smoother when we do switch over so that's pretty much it for the acts uh, the main thing is just to make sure you're doing Stormbrand and uh, having the links that you need we will go over the tree um, right about now okay so we're here on a brand new um, POB. So I will kind of just roughly go through the pathing that you're going to want to take. You're going to want to do this damage and mana node. We're going to come through the elemental nodes, come up to retribution, grab the life, grab these two nodes. And at this point, you're going to be level 12. All right. So this is going to be kind of towards the end of act one sort of ish maybe if not we're just going to come up here and grab quick recovery along with the life mastery so at this point you're definitely going to be kind of approaching level two or i mean i'm sorry you're going to be approaching act two and this is really sort of where you can either choose to come up to ellie overload which is kind of what i would suggest uh, it's just going to give you a huge amount of damage early on, and it's basically 40% more damage just really, really early. Uh, or you can come up to Arcanist Minion, grab Lightning Walker for the Lightning Res, and then grab both of these. Alright. Once we're here, we're going to be about level 27. This is about Act 3. We are going to actually come over here and grab Crackling Speed because at this point we're going to have Stormbrand pretty much hopefully on a 4-link. Um, if you find any chromes and an ES base with 4 sockets, go ahead and try, try to get 4 uh, blue sockets linked. If you can't find one uh, uh, by Act 3, um, just go for the triple 3-link without faster casting. We're going to be grabbing Mental Rapidity, or whatever the fuck. Uh, we're going to come here, 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 and then grab these. And then at this point, we can drop these Intelligence nodes. Now, at this point, we're going to have to think about... Uh, basically, where we're going from here. Alright, so... You could come up here and grab the Heart of Thunder if you have uh, if you're having trouble with damage, but if you have at least three three linked blue sockets, all of them, and you're using the gems I showed you, you should be okay. Uh, in that case, we are actually going to start. Uh, coming over here and kind of trying to grab uh, all of the spell crit nodes we're going to need for our totem build. So we're going to grab deep thoughts and then we can also grab the reduced mana cost of skills. If you're having trouble with your reservation, like if you wanted to run, um, let's say, Wrath, Clarity, and Herald of Thunder, you could also just, you know, grab the increased mana reservation efficiency you could not come over here and you could actually come up here and come down and grab sovereignty just so you could run another aura throughout the axe now i usually just run um this is actually what i do because we're gonna come over here anyways and i usually run purity of elements along with herald of thunder and clarity just to make the axe a little bit more 
smooth, uh, giving us um, ailment immunity and a lot of all revs. So we're also going to grab the life. Uh, if you have a body armor, grab this. Or if you have a body armor without any life, grab this. Uh, if you have a body armor with life, don't grab that. Uh, we're going to come up here, grab this jewel socket eventually. We are also going to grab Prodigal Perfection, and then come down here to grab Arcane Will. Now, at level 50 or so, we should be approaching Act 10. If you're not in Act 10 by level 60, um, don't worry. You will probably be around 65 if you're a little slower. Um, but around Act 10 is when we're going to start thinking about going to do our first couple Labyrinths. We're going to grab Arcane Blessing first. That's what I always do. Don't be ashamed if you take Conviction of Power. They are both equally as good, but our second Labyrinth is going to go into either one you don't choose. Now, if you can do the third Labyrinth, go for it. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but just getting it out of the way while you don't have the resistance uh, negatives from Katava can be a lot easier and you're probably gonna have to wait to do your fourth lab now once we are in maps and such we're going to start respecking uh, I would say um, probably around level 70 ish is when you're gonna start respecking probably once you get enough money to buy all of the necessary items but overall, we are just eventually going to come back over here. Uh, grab nimbleness. Grab this jewel socket. Come up here. Grab the crit multi. And overall, this is pretty much what a realistically... Um, realistically, this is pretty much what your tree is going to look like overall for the storm brand leveling portion of the build okay so uh once we are in maps once we have about three to i would say between five to twenty chaos we're going to buy three items all right you guys only three items that's all you need to get this build started and they are all very very cheap especially on the first day of a league so those items are a Kikazaru ring. Doesn't have to be catalysts. Just get a regular old Kikazaru ring. Any roll mat like like it doesn't matter the rolls just get one, all right? Next up, we're going to buy any literally any jewel with any roll of reduced effective curses on you. It can be 20%, it can be 30%. The better the roll, the longer you can keep it, but for one chaos or even one alchemy, it probably doesn't matter. If you want a better one, just look for better stats that are applicable to your totem build, like cold skills, cast speed, crit multi with spells, reduced mana cost of skills, life, stuff like that. This is probably a very good jewel, but you know, all you need is that reduced effect of curses. Now, the third and probably most expensive piece is a five link soul mantle. All right, you guys, this is the only real uh, big item we need for the build. And first week of league, these are like maybe 10 C. All right. First day, it's going to be expensive, but realistically, you're probably not going to be in maps on the first day of the league. Uh, second and third day of the league, you can easily get one of these for 10 chaos and this is all you need you guys all right these three items so what we're gonna do is we're gonna socket in our gem all right we're going to take these three nodes all right right here on the map or on the on the tree the asylum node and then the two leading up to it you could even grab the corrupted blood can't be inflicted on you that's fine. What's this, what this is going to do is it's basically going to enable your entire build. Uh, what uh, Once you have your 5 link, the only thing you're going to leave out is the hypothermia. You're going to want added cold, GMP, 
Freezing Pulse, Ice Spear, and Multi Totem. When you come into a boss, uh, all right, this is gonna be your single target setup right here. Ice Spear, crit damage, added cold and hypothermia, and Multi Totem. All right, that's pretty much all you're gonna need realistically if you only have a one green and one red in your five link you could probably switch out hypothermia for Ellie focus and this will work and then just when you're in maps you could switch out GMP for added cold and then freezing pulse for the ice spear so you could possibly do that. It's not going to be a long-term solution. Definitely, you're going to want, um, you know, this setup right here. Uh, definitely optimal right here. But, you know, realistically, if you only have the sockets for one green, go ahead and do that. All right. Once we have our Kikazar ring and our 30%, uh, curses cannot affect you jewel we are gonna go ahead and take asylum and we're gonna start specking out of our lightning damage clusters and start taking totem clusters you really only want to do this at um, the same time so once you have the kikazaru the jewel and your soul mantle all equipped this is when you're gonna respec all right don't respec before then only respect after you have those three things so we're gonna take out all of these lightning damage clusters we're going to keep the cast speed cluster but we are gonna get rid of Ellie overload just so we can crit once again and realistically everything else that we have here we're gonna keep except for lightning walker and then these two nodes and then we're just gonna spec into frost walker all right just for the cast speed and the cold damage, very good node. All right, and then what we're gonna do now is take the totem nodes. Go around the bottom here. This is an insane amount of crit multi. Like, I can't believe this is just 60% crit multi for your totems, it's like insane. And then uh, take the crit chance for your totems. All right, these five nodes are pretty much some of the best you'll get in the game for your totems and then over here we're gonna come down and get primal manifestation and also the action speed of our totems can't go can't go below base value this is huge especially later on when we're doing semi juiced mapping there's so many things that are going to be able to slow our totems down so we're really going to need to take these and then we're also going to be specking out of the aura Reservation just because we don't need it. We're going to switch the mana mastery over to a reduced mana cost of skills We're gonna come up take annihilation just you know easy crit multi for our build Lovely to have and we're also going to take arcane potency here as well as the crit multi against unique enemies so after this point you can pretty much just follow my guide um that I made earlier on but that's kind of just the progression of like what's gonna go where and when so if you guys do have any more questions about like maybe gear uh, gearing steps after that I will go ahead and answer any questions you have in the comments um, obviously use essences if you can just to get some good flat damage or some percent spell damage but be wary of the level requirement and uh yeah pretty much after that just uh blast some maps all right you guys hope you have a good one i will see you all later and happy league start